Hey guys, Chip here, and uh, today I want to talk about a new version of GitOps Pro that is going to drop, actually GitOps Pro and GitOps Free. There aren't many changes to GitOps Free, just some bug fixes and some other stuff, but there are some pretty interesting changes to GitOps Pro, and uh, let's talk about them a little bit. So many of you know one of the main advantages of using GitOps is that you can do things with cutters. And what's really cool about that is that, you know, you can take something like this Phillips head insert. And when we add this insert, you'll see that it's actually cutting into the object. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So you can see it's actually cutting into the object. If I go ahead and add a quick on this, uh, on this, we'll add a quick bo uh, bevel modifier. And you can see even better how it is, you know, how it's cutting directly into that object. So. That's a pretty cool thing uh, and it's something very easy to do, but creating these cutting objects requires you to go into the factory mode. But we just added a new feature that you can now create these cutting objects directly from the main screen without ever going into any of the factory modes. So let's talk about that. Start a new file. And what I'll do is I'm gonna just say Shift A and I'm gonna go ahead and add a cylinder. And let's move it up here, something like that. And let's just shrink it down, move it up. There we go, like that, something like that. Right click and we'll shade smooth. And then I'll come down, I'll just give it a uh, the same material, cutter and material. And let's uh, also auto smooth it. So there we have that. And then I'm gonna shift D, duplicate it, and scale this one down a little bit. So with that done, let me go ahead and select this cutter and this cube, right? And then, as you know, in the bool tool modifier, you can just go in here and say, give me a difference. And what that does is it's basically creating this, this modifier. So now we've got an actual, you know, a cutter on this cube that you can see now we have, and we have this object here. And this is going to be our, our screw object. Let's take a look at that. First, I'm going to tab into this and I'm going to hit three and I'm going to select this and I'll say control B. You notice it. You know, as it's really not doing what I want it to. And that's because I need to go under object and say apply. And I'm probably going to apply, you know, uh, rotation and scale. And now when I tab into this and say control B, you know, it's going to work just fine. Let's go ahead. And remember, I say either use one or use eight. Eight is the minimum. You can go more, of course, but let's use. So we use eight right here. Okay. And then we'll hit three. It's like this. And we'll just say I for inside and we'll move it in a little bit. I'll go seven to top view one to go into vertice mode. And let's just grab this one and this one hit the J key to join those. And this one and this one hit the J key to join those. Go back up here, hit the three button to go into face mode. And I'm going to E extrude, drop it down and S scale and move it like this. And now with that done, I'll just go in here and in KidOps, I'm just gonna grab one of these, the free kid of, KidOps metal. Let's grab something like the steel shiny, add material, and let's go ahead and add a little modifier on that. So maybe, maybe something like, like that. There we go. So we have a little, little slice modifier. Okay, so now that's done. We've got that done. Now that is, if we look here, we wanna make sure the scale and the rotation are ones and zeros, and that's good. And let's grab this, and let's see where this is. Let's go here and see where this is gonna insert. So you can see that it's it's gonna insert right there. If we wanna make it perfect, I can just go up here and say, let's you know click origin and let's move it up, maybe just right there, that's fine. That's where we're gonna drag that, that's where that cutter is gonna insert. Let's go back and turn off origins again. And now with that select, I'll select this, and then I'll select this, and I wanna parent these, right? So I'll go under object and I'll say parent object. So what I've done now is I've basically taken this cutter so that, you know, if I G shift C, you know, I can move it around. And when I move it around, this this piece follows in, in inside. So I look over here and the cylinder, you'll see that we have another cylinder right there. I'm gonna go into a folder like this one. I've already got one already here, but I'll, you'll see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna grab just this. Remember that this is the parented cutter, right? So it can actually cut into stuff. And with it selected and making sure that it's set to scale up you notice the scale is not correct right so what i'll need to do is i'll need to control a and i'm going to say rotation and scale now it's correct right so now if i take this and say g i move it around okay and this is also correct so they're both they're both right and that works good and i can just right click on this and say 
kit ops, create, insert, use object orange. Now, where is it going to put it? It's going to put it in whatever the selected K pack is. So let's go in here and do that again. Kit ops, create, insert, use object origin. This will override an existing insert. Are you sure? Yes, we are. We're going to overwrite this one right here. And you'll see the new thumbnail pops up and there it is. And let's go ahead and turn off my face orientation and let's just hit this X. Oops. X and delete that, X and delete that. And then we'll come in here and uh, let's go back into perspective mode. We'll select this object and, you know, with our snap mode to nothing, we're gonna, I'm basically going to say, I'm going to add this insert. I'm going to move it over here. Use my middle mouse wheel to change the actual size of it, right? And then I'll hold the Alt key down and I can actually rotate it. So I'll just, something like this. And then with that done, and now that we're in smart mode, I can just say X and Y. So I've put some over here. Now, another thing I can do is I can select this and I can just come in here and it's going to remember the last size. And if I hold the shift key down, I can just start, you know, dropping these wherever I want to by holding the shift key down. And then when I'm done, I just let the shift key up and we've got it. So that's a really fast way to create some inserts, you know, in a library uh, without having to jump into the factory mode. That's a real cool feature, just something that uh, you should know that we've just added in this new hard points edition of KitOps Pro. Okay, so now let's talk about the really cool stuff, which is the new hard points feature of GitOps Pro. And so let's talk about what that means. So to understand hard points, you need to understand snap modes. And as you may already know, in GitOps Pro, we have these different snap modes. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Down here, we have none. We can snap to vertices. We can snap to edges. We can snap to faces. And now we can snap to hard points. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So. Let's just go here into the solid view and I'm going to add this insert on this object. And as I add it and drag it around, I'm going to scroll it down. Right now we're in the none mode. And if you look at the bottom down here, you see we've got F to snap to face, E to snap to edge, C stop, toggle snap to edge center, V snap to vertex. You see all these things cancel snap mode is in. So if I type in V, it's just going to snap to the vertices, as you can see. If I type in E, it's going to snap to the edges. And if I hit the C button, it says toggle it. So it's going to snap to the middle of the edge, right? Face is the F key. And then hard points is explicit, right? So what we really want to do right here is just click right there. And that's our hard points. Now, if there are no hard points available, nothing's going to happen. So what are we talking about when we talk about hard points? Perhaps the best way to show you this is uh, with an example. So let me go ahead and show you using this new K-Pack that Brunia and I have developed, which allows you to create all kinds of different workstation designs. And they all snap together, kind of like Legos. So what I'll do is I'm gonna just basically go in here and I'm just gonna grab one of these connectors. We start off with a connector in this case, and let's just say this one right here, and I'm going to add the insert, and then I'll just zoom in, and you can see there's there's the insert. And it's got these two little things right here. See these little things right here? These guys, these little guys right here, it doesn't matter if we're in, in smart or in regular mode, but these little things, those are our hard points, right? And that's what we're going to snap to. So with that set, let's just go ahead and I'm going to grab a keyboard. Any keyboard will work. So I'll grab this keyboard, and even though nothing is selected, as long as I have this hard points here, it's going to actually look at the whole scene and try and snap to one of these two hard points. And there we have it. And let's grab a display. And now we'll snap the display to the other hard point. And there you have it. Now, these have hard points. This has got two hard points up here and up here. So let's talk about that. Let's go ahead and grab, let's say, one of these side items. And I'm going to add that insert. And it's going to snap over here and maybe I can hit the R and Z and just rotate it around a little bit about that area. And then let's go to the keyboard and we're going to add something like this little, you know, some kind of trackpad area. Let's do this Add insert. And that goes right there. And I can hit the S button if I want to and scale it down uh, and move it however I want to. And then I've got this little top region right here. So let's grab this and we'll add that insert and it'll snap up here again i'll roll the mouse wheel to scale it down a little bit and there we have it so that's how fast you can build something when it's been optimized for hard points so next let's look into how we create our objects so they can take advantage of hard points 
So now's a good time as any to talk a little bit about this KPAX repository, where some, not all, but many of the KPAX that uh, people have either for sale or for free are linked. And uh, let me show you one in particular that's interesting. This Andrew African Kit Bash right here. So this one is a free one, and uh, you can download it and it has a ton of objects in it. We're gonna use that to demonstrate how you can use hard points to assemble different objects. Okay, so here we are in an empty scene, and I'm gonna jump right into here into KitOps, and I've already installed this library. And I'm gonna go into, let's see, the rectangular cores, and I'm gonna grab this 022 one, and with, you know, no snap mode selected. I'm going to hit add insert. Since there's nothing that I can insert on it, it'll just actually put it right at the center of the screen. And there we have it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into another insert with hard points. So first what I'm going to do is let's just remove the kit ops props. And then I'll, and then I'll take this and say X and I'll delete that frame area. And then I'll hit A and I'll select this one and control J. And I, I typically like to keep everything in one mesh if possible. So now if you look at this, you'll see everything's in one mesh. So uh, I can still, if I need to, like if I want to move something, I can go in here and say, you know, I can just drag that and move it around if I want to. But but anyway, that's that's just me. Uh, KitOps, of course, will handle, you know, multiple hierarchies. It just makes it easier for me to look over here and see what's going on. So we've got this object set up uh, the way we want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go power save this where we're at. And I'm going to go over here in KitOps Pro and just say hit this create insert button. So, okay, so now we're in the factory mode. And now that we're in this factory mode, I'm going to basically look at this in a wireframe mode. And you can start to see that, you know, what's going on here. And I want to add some hard points to this. I want to actually put them on this, this spindle here. So what I'll do is I'll have, uh, with this in wireframe, this is not, don't, don't forget, I'm not in edit mode. I'm in just, I'm just doing the water wireframe, but I'm going to add a hard point here and I'm going to hit V for vertex because so, I want to snap it right to the middle. And then I'm going to just scroll it down. Scale doesn't matter in hard points, but rotation does. That will be affected. So I'm going to click here. Now that that's set, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add another one over here. And again, I'm going to hit V for vertex. And then I'm going to add another one. And here, this time I'll hit F for face. And that's the reason why I'm showing this in wireframe mode, so I can know whether I'm going in vertex or face mode. And then I'll add another hard point right here and hit F for face. And there we have it. Now we can also actually add tags to hard points. And that's, uh, I'm not going to do that now, but that's for the synth. A synth is going to be able to intelligently start to place things and get up synth. But we're not going to talk about that today. But for now, that's really all we've got right there. And so now what we want, all we need to do is save it. Let's just call this, uh, I'm going to just call this one core test. And we'll hit save insert. And I'm going to go up. And I've got a folder called test in here. And I'll save it there. And I'll say camera to insert and render the thumbnail. Close the factory scene. And let's go to a new, let's go to a new, a new scene, see what we have. So come back in here and let's go to that test. And here's our object. And so I'll just say add insert. And you can see that when we add this insert now, we have we have these. These are let's turn off face rotation. These are all hard points. So now what we want to do is we're going to want to add some kind of cylindrical objects to this. And what I want to do is I want to show you how we set up a cylinder object to be able to add it. And actually, it's 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 a lot simpler than you might think. Let's just go in and I'm going to say Shift A and I'll say Mesh and I'm going to make a circle and I'll scale it down something like this and move it out, scale it down a little more. And then tab into it, hit A, uh, a face, E, now it's just, I don't know, just inset, move it up, E, E, scale out a little bit, and then E, something like this. And then tab out of that, and we'll shade smooth. And we will, you know, of course, come over here and normal auto smooth that. And let's go ahead and add the same metal that we have here. And... Now, if we notice the insert point of this is here, 
and uh, maybe we want that to be at the top here. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and rotate this around the X, our X 180. Now it's it's still, we still want the insert point to be down here. Lift S and I'll say origin to selection. And that goes right there. And that's because I have this add-on called Snapping Pies. And uh, we'll put a, a, a link to that. It's a free add-on made by Master Z on the box cutter and, and Hard Ops guy. He also is, uh, you know, my partner in, in Kid Ops. So um, anyway, so uh, so now that we have that set like that, then I can say Control A, and I want to basically say rotation and scale. And now we have this object. So what I want to do now is I just want to right click with this in test, but just right click and I'll say Kid Ops and create insert use object origin. Okay, I'm gonna hit X and delete that. So with this object right here, uh, you know, uh, this object, I'm gonna basically click on hard points and I'll add the insert. And it's just gonna snap to the or to wherever there's a hard point, it's gonna snap, right? So you can see how, how uh, quickly that, that goes together. And then of course, if we wanna add hard points to this, the way we were gonna do that is we're just gonna say edit this insert. So we'll click in here, edit this insert, go in here. And what I wanna do is now I'm gonna add a hard point on here. So I'll go in here, add a hard point, stick it here and hit F for face, scroll it down and then save the insert. And then we'll go file. Let's create a new, a new scene and we'll go back into our test and we'll go right in here and we'll say let's add this insert zoom up with a hard point snap mode selected we'll add this insert so we'll add one there and let's just add one here and now we have hard points on the end here so i can just continue to add if i want to i can just go add an insert here scale it down a little bit you know so you can kind of see how this works. Of course, you can rotate these hard points to get different angles and orientations. So, and that's really it for hard points. I mean, that that should, you know, basically it's gonna allow you to build all kinds of interesting kind of robots and different types of constructed objects. It's gonna be interesting to see what people come up with. So if you come up with something interesting, please jump over on our Patreon and post a picture or a description of what it is that you're currently working on. And that's about it for this new Kid Ops Hardpoint Edition. By the way, I should mention there's been a lot of bug fixes also that we've added to this. So even if you're on Kid Ops Free and you don't have the hard points or the snapping modes, you still probably want to update just to get up with the bug fixes. So there's that too. So thanks for watching and we'll see you online.